The Battle Droid Army is currently pressuring the Clone Trooper Army in a large-scale Christophsis Trench defense. The clones are undermanned and undergunned, but what they do have is intelligence over the droid army. If leadership can take home a victory, then the Clone Wars may just be saved on Christophsis. May the best fighters win. What's going on boys? Daily here and today we have an intense battle of Christophsis. The clones are defending a very weak position over here against a lot of battle droids coming forward. Uh, the droids do have B1s, AATs, and some other things. However, uh, these B2s as well as some of these AATs and dwarfs are actually just props uh, that the map creator put in here to make it look like a larger battle. Um, it is going to be a huge battle, but I'm pretty sure these aren't actually in the mod just yet. They're just sort of stationary props at the moment hopefully those will be added soon uh, further back here though past the front line of defense we're going to be having some 501st reinforcements coming in along with some hero units from these boys so hopefully we will have an action-packed battle here if you guys do enjoy please be sure to hit the like button let's try our best to get a thousand likes in the first two days of the video being out uh, also comment down below if you'd like to see some more and don't forget to subscribe baby all right well, let's get it cracking What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then, gamers, let's go ahead and press start here, baby. And uh, we're probably going to want to go in slow-mo for the start, because this is going to get pretty crazy. So we've already got some action hitting the front of the clone trooper lines. We've got clone gunners manning the TX-130Ts here, of course. And actually, the AATs are a little bit more powerful than the TXs in this mod from our previous experience in the mod. It has been like a month or two since we've played this version of the Galaxy at War mod, so that could have changed, of course. Uh, but I don't know, I kind of doubt it. I think it will still be the same. We've got an officer out here with Binox, and he's going to take a little bit of a better look out at the droid army. This looks sick, bro. This looks like it's straight out of the Clone Wars. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty freaking epic. Oh my god, this poor TX. I think it's, I think it's toasted. I think that thing is toasted. I think that hatch opening up is just representing the crew is donezo. We do have some of the clone snipers taking some shots at these droids. Not really getting any kills just yet, but getting some hits. They're spilling some droid oil blood. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's, it's, yeah, oil. That's oil right there. Okay, very good. And the uh, rest of the clones now seem to be opening up a little bit more uh, against the droid army here. And hopefully they get some kills because it is... Whoo, it's desperately needed. That is for show sure. up. We've got some random free roamers in the back that are coming forward and stuff like that, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, but for the most part, it's just infantry getting things going here. Oh, the sound effects. Oh, just, just listen to that battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the Z6 spinning up. Okay, and of course, he stops right when I look. He's a little shy. He's a little bit shy there. Let me unclip the camera position real quick. There we go. Now we can zoom even closer in here. This dude, what? You don't need to be that close to use your binoculars. And now he just doesn't have a gun. Oh, he's pulling out the D. What are you doing, man? This is, this is mania. This is not a smart decision on your part. I don't know how he hasn't gotten shot yet. I don't know how this man is just standing here living. This is... Truly incredible stuff. Oh, big shot into the TX right there. Luckily, the clones do have some rocket launchers that they can utilize if things get a little bit tougher against these AAT tanks, so that'll be pretty helpful. How did this guy back here die before this guy up here died? I, some things will just never be known, ever. <laughs> there are many a mysteries, clearly. Wow, look how atmospheric this battlefield looks, dude. Holy cow. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is truly like the most realistic battle of Geonosis that we've ever been able to experience in Star Wars Galaxy of War. This is, 
This is truly phenomenal. Look at all these droids out here, man. The clones got their work cut out for them. There are a, a high number of dead droids up here. We've got a squad just yeeting on forward here. Clones should be able to blast the heck out of them. Let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here. And watch some of this mania unfold. And yeah, they are... They're dropping some of those droids, baby. Look at that. They are dropping them good. Um, they're letting them get pretty close, though. I do have to say, that's a little sketch. That, that is definitely a smidge sketchy. Oh, explosion rocks some of these clone troopers right here. I am going to bump it down a speed again. I think it is just a little too laggy uh, to go into full speed. Well, not even full speed. Full speed, half speed right there. It's just a bit much. I do want to just real quick check and make sure the 501st is coming forward. They are extraordinarily slowly. Reinforcements are en route, boys, but it's going to take a hot minute for them to get here. And I don't know if all of these guys have a hot minute, because there are clone bodies mounting. It is getting real bad over here. Look at this. Look at the number of droid shots entering the battlefield from over here. It is getting absolutely deadly. Wow, oh my god, though the clones have gotten a solid number of kills back here. I think that might have been rocket fire or TX fire coming in from the clones, which is pretty insane. Wow, oh, droid rockets though, impacting the clone trooper. How is he still alive? Wow, there's so much camera shake. I'm very confused. Do you just have unlimited health or something? Like, are you a glitch? Are you broken? I don't... He's got a hundred health. That's it. Um, let's see. Can I take control of you, maybe? And and see. Let's see. It maybe he is glitched and he is like the one true clone trooper? I mean We're getting hit, but we're not getting hit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this guy is actually like in a glitch state. Can we kill things though? That's what I wanna know. Yes we can! We very much so can kill things. Wow, the DC-17 is a, a literal one-tapper. Well, if you hit the shot, those were some rough shots right there. Alright, so we're gonna... <laughs> I hate to do it, but we're gonna delete this guy. Because uh, he is clearly a glitched clone trooper who is not dying on that there battlefield. He had 100 health, and it seemed like that 100 health was never going away. He didn't lose a single health after all those shots were rounded into him. Let's check out the deaths for the droids right now. Red or dead droids. It is pretty bad for them. It is pretty bad. Uh, the clone troopers, on the other hand, I mean, they've taken some decent losses, but not nearly as bad as the droids. Wow, look at this AAT. All the way up here, dude. That is a deadly position. And it is topside. Oh, no, it, it's corrected itself. If this thing launches a rocket into these guys... Oh! Okay, it shook us into the building, and that that killed a lot of clone troopers. <laughs> oh my god. That is really, really brutal right there. My goodness, DC-15X sniper still standing true, trying to get some kills. I think all of these TXs are honestly dead. I, I don't think a single one of those suckers is living currently. Oh man, the clones gotta get some rocket shots into those AATs if they want to survive the rest of this thing because it is getting brutal at the moment. Oh, more clones taking hits right there. I think any of these guys are actually glitched. I think all of the officer clones are invincible for whatever reason. So if I see any, I am just going to delete them uh, because that's busted. <laughs> I think those guys are actually busted. I'm not sure about these guys though. They're... They're different than the other officer clones. They might be able to die. We'll see. Although I do see a lot of them left alive. Yeah, like this guy. Wait, let's let's test the waters with this fella here. Because um, he has survived quite a bit. No, he just took a shot and took damage. Okay, never mind. You're free to do whatever you want. Uh, because clearly you are not glitched. Okay, let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here now. Um, because the, the clones have taken a lot of losses. The droids have taken a lot of losses. Which means that the battlefield should be less laggy as we have less entities fighting on it. Uh, and there's just still tons of fire through all of this smoke. Extremely atmospheric battle going on right now. This is this is truly dope. And this also might be the best Christophsis map I have ever seen made in Star Wars Galaxy at War. I mean, truly. Wow. Okay, the camera shake is unreal right now. My god, but that killed a lot of clone troopers. Oh my god, there was a whole stack of clone troopers hiding behind this pillar. And they all ended up dying as well. Oh, rip to my boys. It's okay, the backup lines are still firing. DC-15X there, giving it its best. Z6 rotary cannon firing over the log. 
That's actually a new feature in, in the original Star Wars Galaxy at War. Those things were not able to fire over standing positions like this, so it's good to see that uh, there is a little bit of a fix to that, and this one is rounding off some good fire. Incoming flak is really extreme. Oh, here come some of the 501st troopers. Some stray bullets actually hitting them all the way back here. Not getting the kill shots, but definitely hitting them. Um, they are taking their sweet time. We do have backups TX-130s uh, way back here as well, so those will hopefully come into play uh, eventually here as they become needed. Uh, but for right now, the clones are on their own. For right now, the clones need those 501st troopers with their rockets up here and blasting. Um, we've also got a number of troopers back here just sort of laying beyond their defenses. I don't know why they're all the way back there, but hey, to each their own. Oh, some massive flak coming in over here. The right side seems to be lasting a lot longer than the left side did. I think there are more troopers over here. There's also more rocket troopers over here I can see on the lines. Oh, no! Oh, that rocket just killed all of these guys, including a rocket trooper. The one trooper that the clones desperately need to stay alive in this battle. Dear Lord, this is not good, my dudes. Oh my goodness, look at these guys, man. <laughs> I have to say, the clones are extraordinarily brave for staying in the battle this long, man, against this intense of incoming fire. I mean, this is absurd what we're dealing with here. This is not exactly what you want to be a part of. We do have some of these guys behind this pillar here. That could be a good, like, flank side thing going on. This guy's even got DC-15X. That could be really effective. Uh, it's just a matter of if uh, they're going to be able to do much without the front forces remaining alive. Because these guys are definitely dead in a couple of seconds here. We need the 501st, baby. And they are all stalled out over here. Oh, great. It's, it's because they're... Oh, they're on hold position mode. What? Boys, wait, what? I, I scripted them to come forward, however past that, they're on hold position mode. They're supposed to be on free move mode. Actually, it's going to be faster if I just do this. Uh, we want to do uh, movement mode, free, boom, and uh, no, they're, they're allowed to retreat if they like. Yeah, there you go. All right, there we go. Now the 501st is actually going to enter into the battlefield here. I don't know why I didn't realize that right off the rip that they were on movement mode hold. I scripted them to come forward. That's why they were moving. And then past that, they weren't able to do anything. Okay, it seems like the droids have slowed down their approach over here. Uh, and they're amping up over here again. Oh, nice Granata. Droid popper. They're actual droid poppers now. Beautiful. Oh, okay. They don't actually do the... Uh, but they do explode quite nicely there. <laughs> That's what we like to see, baby. All right. Some random uh, machine gun fire from clones right there. Seems like the droids just sort of need to make a commitment to go over the top here. But they're not wanting to do that right now. All right. The 501st has joined the front lines here. Uh, and is likely going to be getting seriously involved from here on out, hopefully. We're already getting some small arms fire from these guys. But this is pretty much all the reinforcements that the clones can expect to be getting during this battle. This is it, and it's not a lot. There's still a ton of droids out here, and it's these AATs, man. That's the major problems on this battlefield. If those things can go down, the clones have a real shot here. There are 501st rocket troopers coming forward, like this bloke right over here. They just gotta get close enough to those AATs to actually wipe them out. Problem is, there's a ton of droid infantry all around those AATs, sort of protecting them as like a human body shield. So that makes it a little bit harder. Wow, lots of incoming flak. All right, 501st boys, come on. Get involved here. Okay, they're, they're very slowly coming up here. Uh, what's going on on this side? More of these clones have died as uh, these droids get closer and closer to them. Is there still a living clone trooper? Oh, there's a couple living clones right here. Oh, look at these guys. Wow. Well done, boys. One shot. Way to way to stay alive. This guy's got 12 kills. I think he grenaded. Oh, and this guy's got 10. I think he did another grenade. Oh, <laughs> they're going to be yassing some more grenades at these droids. Oh, but they did it too close to themselves, and they had to scatter, and now they're getting shot up. They did get some serious droid kills right there from those grenades. Hopefully, they could pop back down. That is a rocket trooper right there. He could potentially hit this AAT. I don't think he's going to. <laughs> These guys are still just vibing out right here, dude. They are just ch chilling. Peak chill. I mean, if they grenade more, could be huge. Yeah. Wait. Oh, he took out a grenade, but then put him away. 
Sag. Okay, that, that could have been massive. What's going on over here with the 501st? Uh, they're starting to take some L's on the battlefield here. Oh, major L's being taken. Oh, yeah. That incoming flak is brutal. The AATs might not be able to even come any farther, though. They might be roadblocked in. That would definitely be best case scenario for the clones. Oh, these guys are getting butchered now. Yeah, the droids are done messing around with these grenading clones. At the very least, these clones did get a solid number of kills there, but they're the droids are over it. They're like, nah, fam. All right, yellow are dead clones now. Red are dead droids. Still lots and lots and lots of dead droids on the battlefield, but the clone numbers are starting to mount in terms of losses. Uh, it is becoming truly, truly brutal. All right, let's see if we can handle normal speed. It, it might still be too laggy. Yeah, it's way too laggy. We're getting like 8 FPS right there in normal speed. That is no bueno. All right, well, I mean, the droids are coming over on the left over here. Most of these clones are dead now. Actually, all of them are, so I don't know. It seems to be like a stall that the droids are getting into right now. It's rough. Okay, after a little bit of time has passed, the droids seem to have re-geared themselves into fighting across this way diagonally. Uh, we've got some clone snipers out this way. This is just like really easy pickings for them. They're able to get a lot of kills here, uh, just sniping these droids from a distance, and these droids are very clustered up over here. Uh, the 501st seems to still be dispersing to the right side, more or less, and more droids have started to come over this way uh, to try and intercept them, more or less. The AATs seem to be doing less and less as the battle goes on. I say that, and then that one launches a rocket right there. Uh, but it seems like the AATs are getting stuck behind the line, so I don't think they're going to be able to physically fit through the blockades here. Uh, and so it's going to be up to the droid infantry's in the second half of this battle. I think that's what's going to happen. We'll, of course, have to see if that's true, because... Oy vey, sometimes these things just don't actually work out. Okay, these guys on the side here are getting some kills. I don't know why they're not shooting those guys way back there, but maybe they're actually like hitboxed or something like that. The, the hitbox is all messed up. I'm not entirely sure. Wow, look at this. There's a ton of flame droids over here too. Those are those guys with the orange sort of backpack looking things. Those guys could do some damage, but they have to get really, really close to clone lines to actually use their flamethrowers. So uh, they might just not do anything here. We're not entirely sure. At least I think they're flame droids, right? That's what they look like, I think. Oh, they are. They are. They very much so are. There you go. One 501st trooper was not very intelligent and got really close to the droid lines there. And he is now a flaming mess. Wow. Whew. Would it be inappropriate to name that man Flamer? <laughs> or Burnt? Or Crispy? <laughs> name him a really inappropriate clone name for his death. Now that's epic. Are these droids stuck? I think they're stuck. Yeah, let's open this up. This this map is pretty beautiful looking, but there's a lot of avenues that are just like glitch states and stuff like that. And I think that's what's happening there. Uh, over here, not not the case. These guys are actually able to come forward fairly decently. They're still getting scrapped by the 501st back here, uh, and these guys off to the side are think are able to do a good bit, uh, but nothing crazy. Are you guys just stuck? Like, are you not able to come forward? Let me try and just like send a squad. Oh, they're not. They have to go all the way around. All right, let's delete some of this. And then, should we delete like this? Now can you go forward this way? What is with this glitch? Huh. Oh, yeah, they can move forward now. Okay, cool. I was like, what, what is happening here? Okay, they are definitely capable of moving forward now. And I did send a squad, so you're rel welcome. This one droid squad that's probably going to get absolutely crushed here. Uh, although they've got good suppressive fire from their back there. Yeah, they're 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 actually getting good suppressed. Nice! That's not bad! But these clones, uh, you know, they could still kill them? Oh my god, focus fire on these guys! Dear goodness! Okay, I thought that was going to be a suicide squad. Uh, but no, they actually ended up uh, making it to the end here and getting some shots off. And the clones are not wiping them out in the slightest. Okay, now they're starting to die, but not before those droids actually did wreak a little bit of havoc on the clone lines here. Wow. That is definitely somewhat sad. <laughs> My goodness. All right, droids continue to move forward. Oh, this squad's coming forward as well. A lot of the 501st reinforcements are just like kind of dead. They went out sad, man. They were not that powerful force that I thought they would be. They just kind of died out real sad like that. That was definitely pretty pretty cringe. Pretty cringe, bro. These guys are all suppressed right now. They're not firing at all. That's not very helpful to the cause. 
No siree, that's that's pretty bad right there. They should get themselves back up in into action. Do we have much else back here? I mean, we still got the officers back here, like Captain Rex, Cody, the boys. Um, but that's it. <laughs> and we got the two TXs. But yeah, this is like kind of the the last bastion of defense for the clone troopers here. I mean, they're still getting a solid number of droid kills over this way. I don't know. There's something a little bit goofy about large-scale fighting in Galaxy at War. It, it feels like, well, in this version of Galaxy at War, it feels different than in the Men of War version. It feels like there's less shots getting fired. Like, not everyone actually shoots when they should be. Does that make sense? It, it feels like it's a much slower version of the mod, kind of. And I guess that makes sense, because I feel like Gates of Hell is a slower game than Men of War. But I don't know. It, it feels different. It feels different. What, what do you guys think? Like... I feel like if we did this in Men of War Assault Squad 2, these guys would all be, like, toasted with a billion droid shots coming in right now. Uh, but in this instance, the droids, like, they don't fire nearly as much or as often and things like that, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Not entirely sure. All right, now I think we can bump it up a speed here. I think, uh, I think we can get this thing going. I guess we were in slow-mo as well, but we, we play a lot of Men of War in slow-mo too, so I'm not entirely sure. It's still pretty laggy. You, you can't have as many soldiers on the battlefield in uh, Galaxy of War Gates of Hell version uh, because the graphics are so much better and stuff like that. It's a lot harder for the computers to handle it and stuff, so it does make some sense with that. Uh, okay, more troopers dying here. So we got some 501st troopers on the retreat. I wish there was more on the retreat. There's one random uh, 501st dude back there, too. Those two TX-130s are going to have their work cut out for them. These guys are just letting the droids on in now. They are not even trying to shoot them. That does not bode well for the remainder of this battle. Yeah, look at these droids. They're just waltzing on in now. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be a bloodbath. Well, maybe they're saving up to do some grenading and stuff. That did work for the last few guys. You know, that was pretty good. You can see the AATs in the background. They really want to get forward, but they're just stuck back there. So that's the end of the droid tank reign, I suppose. Oh, God. Look at these. The droids. Okay, they get they get the first kill. Not good. Come on, clones. Just whip out some grenades. Come on, boys. Don't go out sad. Don't go out pathetic. Oh, man. These droids are just creeping and crawling like little ants all over him grenade goes into that clone right as he decides to pick up a grenade himself these guys are grenading they took out grenades throw them yeet them do something nope they put them away okay they get a droid kill okay oh god incoming grenade that's so bad yikes okay oh no clone suffering very deeply they keep taking out grenades and then not throwing them. There we go. He threw one, but that's going to scatter the rest of the clones there. It did take out a couple of droids, but that was not great. Oh, God. The AATs are making it through. Oh, no. The last bastion of hope, the TXs, are going to have to deal with other droid vehicles as well. Oh, we got one 501st trooper here and one over here. This is just a standard clone. Oh, my God. Yikes. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. Should I? Maybe I should command this trooper. I got you, buddy. Don't worry. There you go. Can we hit these guys underneath? Actually, we kind of can. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, they're dropping down now to try and shoot us as well. It just hit barely underneath there. Oh, God. The AAT's coming. Oh, Lord, is she coming? This is not good. Okay. TX is starting to fire into that AAT. If they can get the kill, that would be big. They're missing a lot of shots now, and it's sending out its rockets. No! We ended up going down there. How's the TX doing? No, that one's down. That one's already down, bro. This is so not good. All right, hold on. No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Back it up. Back it up a little bit. Trying to ro oh, the rockets like shoot into the ground. The rockets like shoot into the ground. Dude, I'm trying. All right, we might have to blitz this with the rockets. Duke them. No, crew shocked. Ah! Oh god, come on, recover, recover. Okay, there we go. We've recovered. Skirt around here. All right. Okay. We need the rockets back. 
There we go. We're getting some kills on some droids. Just drive through them if you have to. Nice. Come on. The rockets. No. The rockets weren't even close to being reloaded yet. Oh, God. We've got four dudes here. It looks like Anakin and Obi-Wan are actually puppets. Oh, God. They're coming in. They're coming in. Rex, take out your freaking things. Get, the, get rid of the binoculars. Take out your guns. God. Oh, my goodness. There we go. There we go. We'll trash these guys. There. Whew. Alrighty then, boys. Get behind defenses here. Get behind the Doctor Who box thing. Oh, man. They're oh, no. The AAT. Should we try and... Oh, no. None of these lats are working. No. We just have to fight this then. Take, put the freaking binoculars away, Rex. Put those stupid things away. Put them away. You need to fight. There you go. Cody's like the only sane one here, bro. Let's see. This is really far shots here. We're hitting a couple. Really difficult. Oh, we got a couple kills. Okay. Not bad. We're gonna have to continue this fight alone. Come on, boys. Knock them as they come. Knock them as they come. They keep coming up over the horizon. And we're dropping them. We're freaking doing it right now, boys. We're doing it. Okay, there's a lot more coming, though. Oh, my God. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, yep. They just keep on coming. Just spam fire. All right, kill the closest ones first. Closest first. Anakin, I see your face, dude. You want to help? No? Okay, cool. He is a literal puppet. It's like in D-Day when they... When they blew up inflatables to scare the Germans. Or rather, to confuse them about their plan on where they're actually landing. Yeah, um... <laughs> That's what it is right there. Oh my god, it's just a huge batch of them! It's just so many droids out there. My god. Ugh. Come on, boys. We gotta do something here. Mmm... Just keep firing into them. I'm actually surprised. They're not really hitting me. That's very good for us. Oh my god, once once they come into grenade distance, we'll be a little bit better. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Okay. Nope, they're not even close right now. Um Okay, hold on. Oh god, they're on the flank again. They do be on the flank again. Good. Uh they are getting very, very close. Extraordinarily close. We're dropping them, though. Look at this. Oh, our two friends died. This is very sad. Right, hold on. Can we grenade now? Not quite. Wait. Are these guys not able to die as well? Hold on. Are you able to die? Rex. Well, now we're just standing out in the open. Reloading! Hold on. I don't think these guys are able to die. Oh man. Yeah, we're not able to die. We're invincible. Oh shoot. Okay. For some reason, all the officers in this game are invincible. Which kind of blows. Look, we even took a grenade and didn't die. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's a... It's definitely a smidge busted right there. Uh, well, that makes this... A lot less exciting. Rex has 42 kills. Cody has 21. Oh my god. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think I'm gonna call this an L. Excuse me. An L for the clone troopers. I think we're gonna have Rex and Cody surrender here. Uh, after their epic last stand. Uh, but... Oh man. It's kind of it's kind of a bummer. That these guys are like weirdly invincible. For whatever reason. Um, clearly that needs to be patched or whatever. Cody's got 50 kills. Rex has 54. Absolutely insane duo. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. It was quite the battle. I mean, look at the losses. Red are dead droids. They go all the way back here. Yellow are dead clones. And the clones definitely did lose this thing. Make no mistake. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below. I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.